Last week I made a video discussing some of the challenges I've had over the previous six to eight week period when it comes to eating habits due to the stress of a job change. Uh, that was leaving a company that I really enjoyed and really liked to work for to go to another company. So I just put my mindset in a different place and let those bad habits slip back in. I'd also mentioned the fact that uh, I'd injured my back, which had basically about June to early July, I had pretty much stopped the level of workouts that I was doing. And over the last couple of months, I've started to resume that, but it's more now going to Planet Fitness and focused on the different fitness groups. But with 2024 rolling around and my back healed up to where I feel pretty confident now moving forward that I can do some of the exercises I did before. Uh, my wife and I have made goals for 2024 to be able to really focus on our fitness level and just improve it overall. You know, um, the weight loss that I had was about 75 pounds uh, up to my maintenance weight, which I was maintaining for quite some time. But since I made that video last week, there is something that has changed. Uh, I think maybe the video itself has helped me to be accountable because uh, just knowing that I share my message and in addition to that, some other things I'm doing, but I have been able to stop eating the stuff I should not, like the gummy clusters, the nerds, um, the the Reese's Fast Break Bars. I have not made the first purchase, taken the first bite of any of those things since uh, that was created by my stressful eating over that six to eight week period, which led to that 16 pound gain. And by doing so over the past week, I've already dropped like three pounds, uh, which I'm surprised by that because in all honesty, I didn't know if I would be able to do it again uh, because my weight weight my weight gain happened without Manjaro. My weight loss happened with Manjaro, and I maintained without it, but I wasn't able, never lost anything more uh, with, without taking Manjaro. So I feel very fortunate that I've been able to lose the extra three pounds over the last week um, and just hoping to maintain uh, that going forward. I did have some Christmas fudge, but uh, it's kind of a one, one and done with that one, so I'm hoping that doesn't come back around. One thing that I did do that I read about a, uh, about two months ago and I started about a month ago that it said it can really help curb the appetite and I've been about 30 days on both now matter of fact I think today is about the 30th day and that is I started taking some green supplements and I also started taking beet root powder and some of the things that I had read you know especially with the greens the first 30 days you're gonna notice digestive changes notice that pretty quickly uh, and then about 30 to 60 days in you'll start noticing the change on the appetite uh, or the cravings and I don't know if it's the accountability being created by posting the video or it's the assistance of the greens being now in that 30 day window starting to kick in and maybe that combination of the beet powder, but I have noticed a change in the cravings and I know my focus is different. And I think the mental focus is the big starting point for that. But uh, if the greens are helping, I'm gonna to continue to do them since they provide extra nutrition. I'm curious if anybody has seen that, or tried that, similar uh, experience or seeing the same type of feedback that I'd have. I'd love to know it. And if you have a greens product you've tried, I've been trying uh, Cage Nutrition Elite Greens, but uh, love to find something to rotate in and out because you get the same old, same old every day. Makes it hard to have sustainability. So uh, just looking for an option. But just wanted to do this little brief update, uh, at least for the uh, short term. Anything that I do, it can pretty much be these unedited, little quick little posts of videos. Um, no, no major, you know, editing or anything like that. Just uh, hit the hit the record button and hit, uh, and then upload that in place. So, uh, any feedback or update that you've seen on things that you've done that's helped you whenever you've stopped the Mount Jaro to continue to lose or to even maintain, I'd always appreciate the feedback. And you have a great day, and God bless.